This is Don Brill with Brill Engineering and we've just processed a pound of rice. One pass, we probably have our 70%. This is the uh, medium grain rice. The screen you see down here has 1 8 inch holes in it. It's uh, 500 of an inch thick stainless steel. So it was designed for our uh, short grain rice. Short grain rice falls through the uh, rice with the hole and it won't. But uh, I think we have a method where we can use specific gravity, which means the, the larger grains that are lighter will float to the top as it works its way down. So we're going to give that a try. We're going to uh, process it a couple of times, get it to where it's separated a lot more. So I'm just going to pour it in here. You'll see that it builds up and the larger grains are going to move to the top. The key here is that we have to have enough material to get it to float. So rather than using the entire screen, we are making the large grains float. If you look to the right, that's where most of the unhauled rice is. So we're just forcing them to float and hopefully this will make it so we can uh, separate it out easier. Down inside here, I have uh, a container. So up here hopefully we'll have uh, less rice. Our goal is to get it so the unhauled rice is down on the end. So the unhold rice here, I want to push it off. Another issue that we have is that the, some of the hold rice or unhold rice gets stuck. So I need to pull it off here because we want to uh, process it. Looks a little cumbersome, but uh, I could imagine someone working on this. So, in this box, these are all unhauled. There's almost no hauled rice grains in here at all. So that's the unhauled, so we know we process that again. This, this rice, this came from the top of my ramp. And we're going to run that through again. And then this rice has more um, holes in it, and it was on the bottom side of the ramp, so that makes sense. So we're going to run this through again. Let me set it up. This is the uh, motor we're using to vibrate the separator. It's a Dayton. So now I have I have three containers, one that uh, was in the front, and this has the least amount of unhold rice, then the one that was in the middle, and this last one is where all the hold rice are. So we're going to try to do another separation. Instead of this big one, I'm going to move to these two because I'm still trying to get the specific gravity effect to work, and that means I need enough volume to allow the patty to float on top of the rice.
So this gets more and more difficult when you don't have enough patty or enough rice. But uh, we'll see what we get. As you can see, I've got uh, rice patty accumulating here. There's a patty floating on top. one that had more patty in it. I'm going to put it in this very narrow slot. Try to get the patty to float up. As you can see on the right, that's mostly patty going off down there. And that's the goal of this uh, method. We know the uh, medium sign grade uh, rice will fall right through these holes, whereas the unhauled will fall through, but uh, it takes a little bit, it's a little bit more difficult. So these are all just the uh, unhauled, and I don't want to get them off of here before they drop in. All right, let's see what we've got. So this is my uh, unhauled, and obviously there is some rice in there. This was the top portion of my ramp. And uh, it's well into the 90-95%. But uh, for commercial, that's still not really good enough. And then over here, if you look on the right-hand side, this was the side that had more of the uh, patty in it. Over here, not so much when I ran the two. So I would say we don't want to run the uh, one with the more patty in it. So I've recombined the uh, two different sections. So now we're going to take the rice, even though it looked like there were levels of, sep of separation within the uh, hold, I've combined them. And now I'm going to uh, process all of it. I'm going to use this middle slot here. So the, uh, with specific gravity, these unhauled rice are actually climbing and, and uh, moving up to the top here, which obviously I really don't want. So here I just have a mixture of rice, unhauled and hauled. Let's see what these others look like. So this, this was it at the top of my ramp. And this was at the bottom. Not a lot of difference between the two. So now I'm going to process the rice that has not been hauled, combine all of them together, and uh, we'll do it again. So right now, 
this rice in here has passed through the system once. We know we're going to have to do it again. But I want to uh, run the rice that's not hold at all first and then add it to this. So I ran the rice that had not been hauled during the first pass through the system again and then I added it to what was left of our last separation that was in the uh, unhauled and I'm going to run this through see if it uh, see if it'll do a little bit better see if we can get some of it uh, hauled in there if it does that'll be great this is still our problem with this rice, this small grain of trying to get it separated. Hopefully we have enough rice in there to get it to separate out. Some of the uh, hauled rice isn't dropping through. The majority is, but some is not. So it's going to be in there with our uh, unhauled rice. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, so that right there, I am going to rerun this because that's the majority of this is unhauled. We'll take this rice. And even though it's probably at 90%, we're going to add it to the uh, other rice so we can haul, we'll uh, run it through the impeller one more time. So I've run this rice through again, and what I want to point out is a lot of the rice that's in here, the unhauled, is actually immature rice. Um, this is how it came from the field, and there's just nothing I can do about the immature rice at this point. I just tried to deal with the immatures that are uh, in with my rice. So I just took a household fan and poured in front of it, and it did remove some of them. Let me zoom in here. So here's where we are. We're going to take this rice now. The majority of this rice has only been run through the impeller one time. We'll run it through one more time and uh, see how good the rice is. If this works, this will be a method for people to separate out the holes from the unhold even if they don't have the right size uh, screen because I could imagine taking this and doubling it do quite a bit. All right I'm going to uh, process this rice. So uh, even though we're showing how to separate the rice in this video I wanted to show you our um, impact dehauler we have an impeller here, polyurethane here, 90 durometer. The rice is going to go in here. It's going to come off the impeller, hit this, and then go through this winnowing system.
I got to do a little bit of winnowing and then uh, separating. So I ran that um, rice through. So the unhauled rice went through a total of three times, maybe four for some of them. The majority of the rice only went through twice. And I've already looked at it and there are very few unhauled uh, grains in there. So I'm going to do a quick separation here just to see if I can pull out some of the uh, unhauled. There's so few, but it might be enough. It might be possible to pull some of them out of there. Nice if what's down in here is nothing but uh, rice that's been hauled. But I can see some of the unhauled moving their way down. Also, a lot of the rice is going down there, but right now that's okay by me. The main thing is to get the unhauled out of there. Alright, let's uh we can see. This has some unhold in it and hold. The main thing is what's left here. So I'll zoom in on this. So that looks amazing actually. For a uh, home processing method with patty that's really not meant for this system. So there's one of them. Zoom out a little bit. You can see there's just one or two here, here and there. But, uh, oh, and uh, if you see green rice, that means it's got some uh, chlorophyll in it, which is not a problem. So we're at 99%. So for brown rice, this is almost at a commercial level. When you get a one pound bag of, of uh, good organic brown rice, you should see some rice with a hole in it or an unhold rice plus some green ones. Very good indeed. Good luck with your project. Uh, I'm going to uh, now um, do some um, removing the bran. Good luck.